Via also needs to gain respect amongst the females, and one way is to defend them when they're in trouble. It's 1 p.m. 40-year-old Mandy has placed her hand in a mid-ranking male's mouth. For chimps, this is a show of trust, but the male won't let go. You are potentially putting your hand at risk. It's possible for them to bite a hand off. It's not uncommon for chimps to have digits missing. Word seems to have got to Via, as seconds later, she attacks the male. And dominant male Dylan wades in to support her. Friday turns to Carlos for protection and the teenage challenger goes to confront Dylan. When chimps, especially males, when they start fighting, it can get very, very horrific. They are such incredibly strong animals. You know, kill a man. <laughs> On Chimp Island, the standoff continues. Popular teenager Carlos is challenging alpha male Dylan. <laughs> and it's Dylan, the current king, who concedes. Dylan back down, Carlos was swaggering around, and then ran off feeling quite happy with himself, I think. The balance of power between these two males is shifting. Dylan won't stand up to him. If Carlos wants to move somewhere and Dylan's in the way, he'll push Dylan out of the way. And by backing off to Carlos, Dylan loses a bit of face in the eyes of the rest of the group. It looks like Dylan's crown is there for the taking. Basically, the dominance is Carlos's whenever he wants it. If Carlos is pushing for it, Dylan will just walk away. Self-preservation. But with seven males, it doesn't take much for chimp tempers to flare. As the dominant male, it's Dylan's job to sort out fights and keep the new baby safe. But today, he's neglecting his duties. Dylan should really put them in their place, but he hasn't done. He tends to let things drift a bit too much. It's the group's youngest male, Carlos, who's become baby Stevie's unlikely guardian. Carlos is stepped up to the mark so well. He's never really had anything to do with a baby before, but he's taken to it like a duck to water. Zizi's happy for him to hang around. It's a lovely little family unit, even though they're not. It's really nice to see. He probably thinks he's a father. He isn't, but he probably thinks he is. It's much more likely that the real father of Zizi's baby is Dylan. When she conceived, Dylan was quite besotted with her. He was the only one actually seen mating her. So statistically, odds are it will be Dylan's. But Dylan's approach to parenting leaves a lot to be desired. Carlos is so protective which is the role a dominant or adult male should be. Oh, he's brilliant, he really is. If Dylan was a, a better dominant male, he might be basically doing what Carlos is doing. 
So at 13, Carlos is showing all the signs of a future leader. Carlos is definitely maturing very well, physically and mentally. One day, I'm pretty sure he'll be the next dominant male, but I can't see Dylan lying awake at the moment, thinking, oh, Carlos is going to kick my ass in a couple of years' time. It's a very tricky, dangerous task, introducing chimps into an established group. With a couple of our girls, they're not going to probably take too kindly to uh, another female coming in. They've got the total spectrum of human emotions. Uh, you know, you can have some really nice ones, and you can have some really nasty ones. Yes. 23-year-old Via has already been introduced to individual chimps at Chester. But today, she's going to meet the entire group for the first time. She will be exceptionally frightened. She knows that if it goes wrong, she could get killed. She's got to make some friends quickly. She's going to get a thump in, and hopefully it won't be too bad. All being well, touch wood. When Via finally comes outside, she seems to go straight to Boris for reassurance. I'm hoping Via views Boris as her knight in shining armour who'll protect her. Oh, here we are. Boris is better placed than any other chimps because of his experience to know what V is going to face. Ooh. There's a lot of stress involved from the chimps' point of view, but there's also a lot of stress on the keeper's point of view. You've only got certain amount of control over them and obviously you don't want any animal injured or hurt so you're trying to minimize that there's no handbook or anything like that you just got to go on your gut instinct and hope it's right after five minutes the dominant male dylan realizes there is a new female in the group and raises the alarm Males will attack the female chimp coming in just to make sure they are totally submissive. The whole lot of them can set on her. Perhaps sensing a hostile welcome is being planned for her, Via takes refuge. I can't think of anything more frightening than being chased by a whole group of chimps. Chimps give Freddy Krueger nightmares. But with Via safely hidden, Dylan's hunt is called off. And Boris gives her the all clear. Via is safe for now, but until she's accepted by the group, Dylan could mount another attack at any time. 